Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try a Walmart uh, meal. This one is the spaghetti and meatballs. It is beef and pork meatballs blended with cheese. It says it has a microwave safe tray, which is interesting because it looks like aluminum. Um, and usually you don't put metal in the microwave. So it says it's microwave safe. We'll see. Uh, 34 minutes in the microwave serves one. It is a 14.1 ounce meal or 398 grams. Um, we found this in the like the deli area at Walmart where they sell the sandwiches and so like that. They had a, a couple of these like tray um, meals. It was five dollars though at Walmart, so it's a little on the higher side, but yeah, we'll see what it's like. So here's the calorie information: 630 calories if you eat the whole tray though. So just keep that in mind. Um, here's your other information: Hey, 60% of your saturated fat for the day. Yay! Good protein though, 29 grams of protein. So here's the directions. Of course, you can do this in the conventional oven if you want to. There's the directions if you'd like. We don't do ovens on this channel, so we're going to ignore those completely. So we're going to remove the plastic lid and label before heating. If the oven has a metal shelf, I don't know if any oven that has a metal shelf anyway. Um, aluminum base is microwavable, so this aluminum thing is microwavable. Place in the center of the microwave away from walls and heat uncovered for three to four minutes. Heat only one meal at a time. Microwave is very in power. Settings may need to be adjusted. I'm going to probably do three and a half. This is a refrigerated meal, by the way. This is in the refrigerator, not in the freezer. So um, this will let you know. Um, let me get a paper towel to put underneath there because I see I see liquid on the edge of the tray. So I don't want to get that over my counter. Uh, the shelf life of these, by the way, since they are uh, just cold, is about um, two or three days. So you you pretty much buy it and, and eat it. So hopefully I can get these labels off. But anyway, I don't know if I can get it all with one hand, but you see what's in there. Um, I'm gonna get the, it's taped over here and it's got this label on. So I'll be back when it comes out of the microwave. Hey, so here it is out of the microwave and um, spaghetti seems to be pretty, pretty good. It's not um, all stuck together or anything. I'll probably stir it up really good. These meatballs are huge. Look how big that meatball is. I cut one in half to see what what it looks like, and it lets it cool off a little bit too. Yeah, it's not too bad at all. So I still got a paper tray, just a paper plate, just because the bottom after you pull that label kind of loose, it um, gets a little sticky on the bottom, and I didn't want that stuck to my microwave, so I um I put it on the paper plate so it wouldn't stick. So I'm gonna let this cool off a minute, and um, yeah, I'll be back. Notice it doesn't do a lot of it doesn't have a lot of sauce in there, but we'll see. Anyway, be back. All right, I got let it cool off for just a minute or so. Um, here's the bottom of the thing. It's huge bite of spaghetti and the meatball. So, here we go. Good flavor. That meatball has a really, really good flavor. And the spaghetti, first of all, um, the spaghetti is cooked really well. Um, it's a little, it's a little al dente, which I like. I like it a little, just right on the edge of being fully cooked. I like it like that. Um, that's just my personal preference. The good thing, sometimes microwave spaghetti gets um, hard. Well, this is not like that. It's really good. Let me try one of the meatballs by itself. So I like the spaghetti. The sauce is very, very light. You don't get a lot of the sauce flavor. I mean, you do get some, but it's not really a, it's not a lot of it in the pack in the meal, so it's good, but I'm just saying it's not overwhelmingly saucy. Um, here's the meatball. Texture's good, it's a little smushy for me. It's a little, um, I don't know, like very finely grained uh, ground beef or whatever meat they use in there. It's, uh, it's a little fine for me, but it's not, it's not off-putting, like I don't want to eat it. It's not like that, but it is a little fine. Yeah, this huge thing of spaghetti I'm trying to pick up. Got my fork. Overall, I think it's a good meal. I do think it's uh, got good flavors to it and good textures. Um, it's as good as any frozen meal you get. And it, it is a lot of calories though, just keep that in mind. But it's a, it's a pretty good meal and you get two pretty good sized meatballs in there too. Um, I think the flavors, textures, all that stuff are good. I wish I had a little bit more sauce in it. I wish I had a little more cheese on it. But beyond that, I think it's good. I'm going to give it... Mm, 
just because it doesn't have enough sauce in it, more sauce and more cheese, uh, I'm actually just gonna give it a three out of five. If it had a little bit more sauce to where I could get that really good tomato-y flavor, um, I may have given it a four, but uh, because it is missing that and it's missing that uh, the cheese and the, and the sauce, and, and I don't even like a lot of sauce in my spaghetti, but this needs it. Um, I'm gonna give it a three out of five. Definitely worth trying out. If you uh, go to Walmart and you see these, definitely worth trying out if you're interested in it. But um, you know, if, if you miss them, um, you're not missing a whole lot. I think they're good. But um, yeah, they're not spectacular or anything. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.